so after masking your last you draw your center line you draw your center line then after that you draw your bump line get your bump line then your quarter line we're going to be needing it in this particular pattern so now we're going to take our instep point so we measure from this point down to somewhere here one inch measurement one inch measurement and then we're going to take the drawing from that point So you can see if you look closely you see I'm stopping this particular line on the quarter line so you can see that so right now we're going to take a measurement from here down to somewhere here 0.7 inch that is our buckle strap width the width of our buckle strap 0.7 inch so you take the measurement then we are going to take another measurement also the shootout that is from here we take another measurement we're going to take one inch measurement and here is it one inch then we take it down connect it to the width which is 0.7 remember from here down to this point is three and a half inch so we take it down to that point So you see where this line stopped on the quarter line it stopped on the quarter line that is the buckle strap so now we take a measurement from here that's the width of the pattern here two inch two inch here is it two inch so take it down So now let's go over to the front we start from here we start drawing from here and then we are going to take a measurement from the front from here to somewhere here we're going to measure one and a half inch one and a half inch here is it so we take it down also from that point So let me clean off some of the lines that we are not using so that we can see the shape of our drawing. So you can see what we have. We are done with the sketching. We are done with the drawing. So let's cut the pattern out and develop it. Once you have peeled the pattern out from the last, fold your cardboard paper into two equal parts that will contain the pattern. So remember the cardboard paper that will contain the pattern. Then place that center line on the edge of the two folding. We paste the pattern from that point. It has a center line part. Paste it at the edge of the folding and then make sure it lies properly on the cardboard paper. So once you are done doing that, make some corrections where necessary, make sure that the pattern is in shape.
so after that you add your lasting allowance i'm going to be adding one and half inch as the lasting allowance one and half inch so you bring this line down and also this one and join it at the last allowance after doing that you cut the pattern into shape make sure you hold the two pages properly make sure they are not moving as you cut so that you have a uniform cut a uniform pattern if you are not sure it is stable you can use your staple pin to hold it together while you cut to avoid moving while cutting so this is what we have and then let us mark the facing of the pattern always remember to mark the facing so this is the facing here just a slight cut here that will show up on your leather so that while you are lasting you will know the facing now let's go over to the next one you bring another cardboard paper fold it into two acre part Then peel out the second part of the pattern and also paste the center line on the edge of the two folding on the edge of the folding you paste it there right there make sure it's straight on that folding the edge of that folding so to paste it properly on the cardboard paper after doing that you also do some corrections where necessary make sure that all the lines are intact and the shape also is intact and after doing that you add your lasting allowance also which is also um, one and a half inch it is better we have excess during last and than having shortage so we bring this line down and also bring this one down to and join it at the, at the last and allowance So after doing that you cut the pattern into shape also remember to hold it firmly if you are not sure use a staple to hold it together while you cut so that you have a uniform cut on both sides So with that we are done so let's mark the pattern facing also on this one so we are done with that so we are going to check um, here this is the buckle strap it is going to be stitched here the width is 0 0.7 remember the same measurement with this so let's try it out on the last and see how it looks so you can see what we have if you have any question feel free to drop it in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get updated because more videos are still coming up have a nice day and um See you in our next video.